friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon, and this week I'm starting a new series, hopping across the pond and breaking down the ukulele techniques of the late, great George Formby. Now, those of you tuning in from the United States might not know who the heck George Formby is, but he was a movie star, comedian, and ukulele player in the UK, whose career really thrived in the 30s, but continued on for nearly 40 years. Now, Formby we talk about as a uke player because his right hand techniques were very, very unique, and especially his syncopated style of soloing, which we call the split stroke. But he also had unique ways of playing triples. He did such things as the fan stroke, the claw, and we're gonna break that all down over the next few weeks. But we have to start first by talking about just his basic accompaniment styles and how he built his solos. In this, we're going to use his tune, Our Sergeant Major, as a vehicle to go through these next few videos. So in this video, we'll be breaking down the chords and the basic strumming in that so that we can get familiar with it before we build up to the highly syncopated solo that he creates. Our Sergeant Major is a fairly simple tune with not too many chords in it. They are all root position chords. And one of the reasons for this is that George didn't use capos on his banjolelis. When he played gigs, he would bring a bunch of banjolelis with him, all in different tunings in lieu of using capos, which allowed him to do his techniques, which relied partially on open strings in just about any key that he wanted to sing in. So just be aware that if you play what we're talking about along with the Our Sergeant Major recording, that's going to be a different key because we're talking about about this in C-tuned uke as opposed to an up-tuned uke. Just something to keep in mind as we go through this. So our Sergeant Major doesn't have too many chords in it and probably mostly ones that you know. It's also an A-A-B-A -A form, which means that we have two A sections, a bridge, and then we reiterate the A section at the end. So as we learn these first eight bars of the tune, we're really learning three quarters of the harmony in the beginning. So let's dive right in. We're starting out on an F major chord, two, open, one, open. We're going to play that for eight beats or two full measures. And then we're going to go to a G minor chord, open, two, three, one, again for eight beats. And then we'll go to a C major chord. You could also play a C seventh here, and we'll talk about that later in the course as to how we treat this as a C or C seventh just your basic root position C major. And we're going to do that for 12 beats or three full measures. And then we're gonna resolve that to an F and then a quick C seventh for one beat and then right back to F. So here's what the A section of the tune sounds like, just strummed very basically with quarter notes. Now, if we get used to that, we can move on to the B section. We're going to repeat that A section one more time, and then we have the B section, which starts out on an A minor chord, two, open, 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 and then an E seventh chord, one, two, open, two, back to our A minor, and this will be for two bars now. And then we go to back to our G minor chord for one measure, and now we'll go to a D seventh, two, 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 three, back to G minor, and then a C seventh chord. So our bridge section will sound like this. And then we would go back and we play the A section one more time. So let's try this entire form of the tune together. One, two, one, two, three. Now take note that the way I'm strumming this is just with my thumb and all down strums. And in accompaniment, this is how George would always play. Especially when playing the banjolele, it could be overpowering to the voice. So by using the pad of the thumb, he could get a softer sound, and then he would use his first finger 
for the solos, which would give him a stronger sound that would go out over top of the orchestra while performing live. The thing to keep in mind is that many of these tunes are quite fast and we don't get to use a down up strum with our thumb. This would all be down. And this tune especially, this is about 212 beats per minute. So you wanna put on that metronome and really practice building up these basic thumb strums. And it's all coming from the wrist like this and just get used to playing these down stroke quarter notes all day long. And once you're comfortable with that, then we can really dive in to the syncopated sections of that. But first what I wanna do is go over the rhythm of the solo. So luckily the rhythm of this tune is not really that hard. It's mostly just straight eighth notes the entire time. And that's one thing that I want to stress is this is straight even eighth notes, not swung eighth notes. Although George was playing music that was reminiscent of the dance band music in America, he was really playing with the concept of two against three. In this swing music, we have an underlying triplet feel and he's playing straight eighth notes over top of it, which gives a very unique sound to his syncopation as opposed to swinging his eighth notes. So this solo itself is syncopated in nearly every measure. So that means that we're going to just be playing strings of eighth notes and we'll create the syncopation next week when we get to the split stroke. But it's important to first understand and get in your ear just the basic rhythm that's going on before we add in the accents. So if we look at the music, we're actually starting the F chord on beat four. We have a pickup. So we'll play that, and then we'll have two down strum quarter notes. And then down up, eighth notes. And then after that, that's the rest. It's just down up, down up the whole time. Now you'll see when we get to next week that it will not be down up. It will be rhythmically the same, but we will use the split stroke to syncopate the harmony by using a very unique strumming pattern. So let's just dive in and try this little eighth note section together. One, two, one, two, three. Take this week to get accustomed to playing this rhythm and playing these chord changes and tune in next week where we will break down the real key to form playing, which is the syncopation of the split stroke. I'll see y'all then.